Welcome aboard Blue Moon. I'm Jillian, and this is Jonas. We live aboard our 1978 Catalina 30 sailboat. Join us while we explore the West Coast by land and sea, while living in our tiny floating home. If you enjoy these videos, hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more content. Thanks for watching. In this episode, we take you along on a typical day on the boat. Jonas heads to work while I hold down the fort. We end the day with a cold dip and watch the sunset by the water. Good morning, everyone. Just getting ready for work. See you later, folks. Going off to work. Bringing home the tempeh. <laughs> See ya. All right, it is laundry day on Blue Moon and I'm super excited because there's nothing better than having clean laundry, especially when you have to travel to do your laundry. So I'm gonna take you along today and show you how we do our laundry on a sailboat. And probably very awkwardly hide the camera while I'm doing it. Well, it's kind of turned into chore day here. I just put the laundry in, so that'll take about 40 minutes before I can switch it to the dryer. And I'm actually just right now working on drying out the bed. It's so humid here that we find condensation accumulates really quickly, especially underneath the bed. We just have two foam mattresses under there. And if we don't sort of put a space heater up in the V-berth and dry everything out at least every couple days, we end up with puddles underneath the mattresses. And although we don't notice them when we're sleeping, we can get mildew up there. So I just dry them out every once in a while. We're trying to figure out a solution to that because ideally we don't have to put a space heater up there all the time. But yeah, to be determined. So right now it's just tearing the bed apart every day and putting a space heater up there and heating it up and drying it out. So we've got the space heater. And I kind of have to do one side at a time. I do this mattress first and then I put everything onto this side and then do the other mattress. And that works pretty well. Things do dry up. It's one of those things that you don't have to do when you're living in a house. Um, we do have this underneath the mattress and it basically just creates a pocket of air between the mattress and the hull or the the white part here but it's not working well enough so we'll figure something out 
I mean, I'm sure it helps. It, it helps in the summer. We don't usually have this problem in the summer. Um, just sort of a winter thing here, so. I don't know, we're almost through winter, so I think I can handle a few more weeks of this, but trying to figure something out. Yeah. While I wait for the laundry to finish, I'm just gonna tidy up the cabin. Um, living in a small space is fantastic, but it also gets dirty really quickly. But it's quicker to clean, so it's really not that bad. Hello.
only in Victoria can you do that. <laughs> It smells nice in here. Am I still on camera? Yeah. <laughs> What's for dinner? Buddha bowls. This is also the biggest bead I think I've ever seen. A good container for pouring. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh. Und Und paprika. paprika. This one downside of toaster oven is that the pan is incredibly small. Make you guys crave hot banana peppers. I actually know how much salt came out there. How are we making out? Good. We're smoking out the cabin, but... Uh, <laughs> yeah, at some point, it'd be cool to try and figure out a kitchen vent system, yeah. but we might need a larger boat. <laughs> it's a cold night here. It almost smells like bacon in here, Jenny. <laughs> oh, that looks good. <laughs> it's not very much, right? Wow. We're just eating leftovers. We probably should have cooked them.
Good enough to eat anyway. Thank you. Welcome.